Good morning, Math 2. This is lesson 134. Today we are going to learn how to record information on a graph. You are going to need Master 134. And this lesson would have been a whole lot more fun if we could have done it together in the classroom. So you're going to have to deal with me picking up dominoes and then you recording the information. So I'll show you what I mean. So we're using the double six dominoes and we are going to record the fact for this domino. So we are going to say four plus three or three plus four. Which column are we going to write three plus four? We're going to write that in the sevens column because that is what it equals. So I forgot to get a pen. Let me do that quickly. So right here in the seven, I'm going to write three plus four. And I'm not even going to do the equal sign. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see. All right, so I'm going to put this one down. Here's my next one. You see that one side is blank, so we call that zero. Oh, and I have my finger over the other one. Five. So where are we writing this? We're writing it in the fives column. So we're going to write zero plus five. And I have a desk full of dominoes, so we're just going to keep going through. Oh, look at that one. That's double sixes. So it's six plus six. Twelve. So that's what you're writing there. Which column is this going in? I hope you said seven. Remember, it doesn't matter if you write 2 plus 5 or 5 plus 2. Another one for the sevens column. 6 plus 1. One plus two. That's going in which column? Three. Oh, I did the addition symbol first. One plus two. Oh, zero plus one goes in ones. Three plus one equals four. Four plus zero or zero plus four. I hope you said four. I know that this is probably too small for you to see. And just keep writing, all right? And if you need to put it on pause to hear what I said, then do that. Zero plus two. Hmm, we're not getting anything over here yet. One plus one equals Two, so that's where we're going to write it. One plus one. Four plus two equals six. Oh, we got one in this column now. Four plus four equals eight. Ooh, three plus zero equals three. Three plus three. In the sixth column, right? Oh, six plus three equals nine. Finally got one there. Oh, five plus 
plus one. Which column is that going in? Six. Which column do you think is going to have the most? Five plus five, it doubles. Plus two equals five. We got six plus two. I have to look again because I wasn't sure. I'll take this one with me. Six plus two equals eight. Oh, one plus four equals five. Oh, we have a three-way tie. Oh, zero plus six. Where are we? Six. Three plus five equals eight. Two plus two equals four. Five plus four goes in the nines column, right? Six plus four equals 10. I only have two left. <gasps> zero and zero. That goes over here. Zero plus zero. What's this going to be? Ah, six plus five. Equals eleven. So what do you notice about our graph? I notice that we have more dominoes that have a sum of six than anything else. I find the shape interesting. Do you see how it has two facts that only have, or I shouldn't say two facts, two numbers, two sums that only have one fact? And then if we have two more some, sum of two and sum of three and sum of nine and sum of ten that have two facts each, and then they increase by two more. We are going to need this for tomorrow's lesson, so keep it handy. Thank you for joining me for math today. I hope you have a terrific day, and I'll see you next time.